Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. All right, guys. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. I got something very special for you guys uh, right now. Uh, do you guys remember uh, my friend uh, Amina Hamden? You know, she is the founder of the official petboutique.com, straight to the point, petgrooming.com. Uh, she uh, does courses. She wants to tell you what she knows so you can go out and you can actually, uh, you know, groom and uh, learn the, the, the grooming um, uh, in this industry. And you can actually do one. You can open up your own place. Uh, she wants you to be uh, independently uh, financially uh, OK. And she's going to teach you how to do that. Uh, I love talking to her because she loves animals. And what's really cool is that we're doing this face to face now. And she is actually in Ohio because she's getting some pets ready for this dog show, which is so cool. So, guys, if you want to call in 631-730-7376 or you can uh, instant feedback, Casey instant feedback at gmail.com. I'll see it pop up. I'll read it. And Amina can answer it. Uh, Amina's website, officialpetboutique.com. Straight to the point, petgrooming.com. Guys, it's my honor and privilege to welcome back to the show my friend, Miss Amina Hamden. Amina, what's going on? Everything. Everything yeah. is going on. Everything. <laughs> my, all of my, um, my boutique that's getting built out, all my inspections, today is the last day and all the inspections will be done. So when I get back to Milwaukee, that's going to be ready for me to move everything into it and decorate it and get my groomers in there that's going to be super happy like time and i'm here in ohio now for the pet grooming show and i have one of my employees with me she's never been to a show before and i'm like girl you are gonna love this <laughs> and she she walked in it was like a little kid in a candy store like it, she's she was just like i'm like girl you just have no idea <laughs> so i'm actually here for my fragrance line that i have um, I'm a vendor in the show for all of the Midwest groomers. So I'm super excited because last year due to COVID, everything was virtual. So it was a little like trying during that time because you can't smell things over, you know, the internet. Yeah, right. But, That's a little difficult. Yeah. But now it's, <laughs> I'm super excited. And now, you know, we're going to see different techniques, new products. You know, we're going to upgrade our game and see what else is out there. You know, make more acquaintances, business relations. It's going to, I'm super happy. I'm super excited. Yeah, you sound like it. I mean, this is totally cool. So now um, when is uh, well, take me through uh, this this whole um, this whole structure, how it happens. I mean, when do you uh, as the groomer, when do you groom to, right before they go on or t tell me the whole thing? I, I know nothing about it. So in the grooming show. So these are grooming competitions at the grooming show. Oh, so, so it's not it's not the, it's not a dog show. It's a grooming competition. Yeah, it's grooming competition for groomers. So like Got groomers it. all from the Midwest are coming. They compete with other groomers, whether that be a particular breed style, a breed cut or coloring or um, anything that's out of the normal of like uh, inner city pet cut, like shave down. So like you're competing with other groomers who think they're on the top of their game and all the judges are going to say, OK, give you your points here, there and there. I'm not particularly doing the competition because I'm here for my fragrances, you know, to help other people up their game in certain areas of their business too. But it's super fun to watch. You know, That's it's kind of cool. like when, when you see the ones on TV, um, they, they have one on TV now that they're doing, I forget the name of it. I don't remember what it is. I don't even watch TV. I don't even <laughs> but, know the last time I watched TV. But tell, tell me more about your, your fragrances. Uh, to talk about that. Yeah. I don't really know too much about it. Well, my fragrances, they're limited ingredient fragrances because a lot of animals, they tend to have a lot of skin allergies. Um, so a lot of people, when they use like their air fresheners in their house or their carpet fresheners or their plugins, the dogs, they tend to like lick on their paws a lot, like their okay. feet or like their bellies, their anus area. Um, and that's because they're having an allergic reaction on their skin. So I developed a fragrance line, which is limited ingredients. It's only five ingredients. And I have about 20 different scents in my fragrances. Um, and because they're limited ingredient and the scent you can't find, like, if you look in pet fragrances, like in other areas of like 
Petco, PetSmart, Walmart, all the fragrances, they tend to be the same, kind of like a baby powder fresh or like a bouquet or like weird ones. But these are like scent scents, like really good smelling scents, like, like higher class luxury scents, like that will like illuminate a scent that you're familiar to your nose, but made for an animal instead okay. of right. a human. So that's what I'm here promoting on my side. Um, and I also sell it in my boutique, my brick and motors as well. Um, okay. And I also do like, um, you know, all the bling stuff. I, I'm a bling person. So like I know, I, I know, I know that about you. Yeah, all the the bling collars, the fake nails for dogs. Like I, that's what I do. And of course, the fake nails are like all glittered out and stuff like that too. So, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna take pictures and videos, and I'm gonna post them on my Facebook page because it's super exciting. Because I have like a ton of groomers on there, and like most of them can't make it because they're working, obviously. Right, but of course. Yeah, it's so fun. It's so fun. I'm so yeah, excited. Yeah, you are. I mean, I can see it. I can see it in your face. I finally get to 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 see you. Uh, but it uh, looks like if people out there are uh, listening and not seeing this she's so excited you can see it uh, she's smiling from ear to ear uh, so what do you have like a booth or something do you have a uh... I do I do and and I got the corner booth so like right when you walk into it like you ever go to like one of your state fairground things and like you walk into the building and then all of the like little vendors you can go shop around yeah 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 like, I'm like mine is like the first table when you walk in Oh, so you're going to get that foot traffic. You're going to get everything. Yeah. Nice. Nicey, nice. It's like, like I'm so stoked. I'm just like, ah! <laughs> like I'm so happy. <laughs> it's exciting. And I brought my daughter too. So she's, my daughter, she's a pretty good sales girl. She's only 11, but she, that girl can sell. Uh, <laughs> that girl I, can I, sell. I wonder, I wonder where she got that from. Uh, oh, here, no. let me, let me go to uh, instant feedback here. I got to get closer. Cause I, I, I don't, I should get glasses. Uh, Mina, uh, Jean from West Virginia, will you be streaming the event? Um, I didn't think about that. I don't really know how to stream, but I'm sure my employee does. She's pretty swifty on like these little mechanical things, but that's an excellent idea. I should do that. I'll bring it up to Heather. My, my groomer, her name is Heather. So I'll bring it up to her. I'm like, Hey, Heather, why don't you stream this? Yeah. Heather, she's get on gonna, yeah. She, she probably will. She, cause she's so excited. Like she's going to be probably videoing the whole thing while she's here. Cause this is her very first time ever going to a pet show. And, so. and you're, you're, I think I, what I'm sensing is that you're actually more excited for her to see it because she's never seen one. Uh, I and am. You can share it with her. Right. I am like for my daughter, like my kids, they grew up in the salon. So like they go to the shows already. They, they, they know what it's all about. So my daughter's like me. But, you know, she's happy because she gets to see all the colorful dogs and stuff. But she's so acclimated to seeing all this all her life since she was born that, like, she's just like, mm. but Heather, she she's been grooming for, I think, five years now. Never been to a grooming show. I'm like, girl, I should have entered you into the grooming contest. She's like, no. I'm like, yeah, like all that <laughs> pressure. <laughs> like, and that's what makes people go and move and be yeah, better, you know, because totally. you don't want to mess up. So. I think next, I'm going to California next month. For oh, yeah. Where, the, where in California is it? We're going to Pasadena. Cool. Pasadena for the uh, the East Coast Pet Show. And then in August, I am I will be in Illinois for the All-American Grooming Show as well. So that's super exciting because, you know, now that it's nice outside, everything's yeah. opening up. And people, people are starting to mingle in, yeah. more. It's so exciting. And then when I get back to Milwaukee, I'm picking up my Doberman Infinity up. I'm going to pick her up. And then once I get into Milwaukee, then I'm going to move everything into my boutique. So, like, everything is moving so quickly for me. Like, I, I know. There's so much going on. I don't know. So many things I want to ask you. But uh, the, the, the first thing I want to ask you is when you, uh, when you showcase your skills on an animal, what is the – is it better to have a long hair or a short hair? Uh, what is the best to showcase your talent on? I think the best thing to showcase your talent on, well, long or short doesn't matter. It depends on the breed. But for me specifically, I love like a curly coat. So like your Bashans, your poodles. I mean, even Shih Tzus you could do too because the volume in their hair is so nice that you can pretty much style it anyway. But those are the better ones because they're more froey like. So you can like shape them and make different things with it. So th that would be my go-to personally. Whereas like if you do like, like a long hair, like an Afghan or you know like a lhasa like a lhasa so you, you can but it's pretty like simple you know the more complicated ones are the fun ones because that's when you can show your true technique so that's my area that i like 
I got you. Now, um, I have to ask you, what is going on with your your brick and mortar place? Uh, the one you've been working on. It's is it uh, are we getting close to opening? We are. I was waiting on the city of Brookfield to send their inspectors in. But because of COVID, they had like so many people go that you had to wait and wait and wait. So I'm like, OK, I'm patient. God's timing. It'll happen when it's supposed to. When I'm it's not supposed stress to myself out. Yep. So the inspector, the last inspector is coming today for the build out for like the walls and everything like that. The electrician and the plumber that got done yesterday. So Armando, he's the one working on my walls and my build out. He's, he's bringing everything he needs with him. He's finishing it this weekend while I'm gone. When I get back on Monday, it's going to be ready for me to just walk in and set up. And I'm going to be so, so stinking excited. Wow. Look at you. You're so, you're so busy. So Mr. Producer, am I, am I breaking here or am I going straight through? I'm going straight through. Okay, good. Cool. So now um, take me through, because I've never seen one of these. Uh, I saw Best in Show. That's the only thing that I know about it. Uh, one thing, but that's about the dogs. Um, but can it be a dog, a cat? Uh, does it have to be dogs in this in where you're at right now? Um, I think they're only doing dogs because okay. some cats, some dogs don't like cats, and some cats don't <laughs> like dogs. So that could cause a huge problem. Right. So usually they just usually I believe they would do only one specific like type of animal. Okay. So. I, yeah. Well, you specialize so in dogs, dogs anyway, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. But, I'm a but dog yeah, person. but but you're you're here for your fragrance. And and can you plug the fragrance again? Tell people where to get it. Yeah, on officialpetboutique.com. I saw all of them are listed on there. All of them. It, all of them. And when people do make orders, like I do send out extra. So like let's say you order like five bottles. I'm, i I usually send like seven. Like mm. I, I send I send things that I like because I want you to try it. I'm just like, well, you made that order. Let me, I'm going to give that and that. Or like, I'll send some like bows, like boutique items. So like your, the collars, um, the accessories for them. Like I always throw stuff in extra because it's always nice to get gifts, you know, to get things that you didn't order. <laughs> yeah. Why I not? So. I, 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 I'm I with you it. on that one. That's cool. I mean, I, I, I got DoorDash to live McDonald's and they got me free apple pie. And I thought that was cool. See, I bet you were super happy about that too. <laughs> I was, it was just a little bit since, but I wasn't expecting it. So it was cool. But anyway, uh, so um, now tell me and take me through uh, what's going to happen now. You're you're waiting to get into, uh, I guess, your your hotel probably. And you stopped yeah. and, and, and you did you did this interview. So what's the first thing that happens, you know, after you settle in and do you go down and scope the area out? Uh, yep. I, I don't... So I actually Heather drove me and she says she's Speedy Gonzalez. We got we made it here two hours early. <laughs> like, I, was like, <laughs> I was like, girl, really? Um, so she's excited called, too, probably. Yeah. So I called the venue manager and I'm saying, hey, you know, I was like, I'm Amina, blah, blah, blah. I made it here early. Is there any way I can set up early? Because their setup times are from like one to six. And I was like, okay, we have to leave Milwaukee at this time. We can make it at this time. And I got podcasts at this time. You know, I have to strictly like organize this. Otherwise it won't be good. So we made it there. I checked it out. We went in, I saw my table. I requested another table. And so he's going to, he's like, why don't you go for lunch? And when you get back, I'm going to have this set up different for you. I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. I was like, I'm going to go check into the hotel. I'm going to do this. And the third, I called the hotel. I'm like, Hey, my name is Amina. I made it here early. Can I check in early? She's like, oh, 35 minutes. I'm like, okay, 35 minutes. So I sent my daughter and my groomer over to the store across the way there so I can take care of this here. And um, mm -hmm. I'm going to go in. When I'm done with my back, my podcast, I'm going to move all my stuff into the hotel. I'm going to go back to the Robert Center. That's where the dog show is at. I'm going to set up my whole booth. I've been mingling, making acquaintances, you know, like swapping out businesses so you yeah know, this is the, probably one. huge a huge um uh, contact huge. and networking huge. thing yes it is so exciting like you have no idea like you have no like i don't think i don't I, I i just i'm looking how excited you are it's pretty cool nothing nothing could happen today i don't care what it is to steal my happy i don't care what it is <laughs> somebody somebody will be so mad that they're mad by themselves <laughs> like they, they will be mad by themselves. So I'm going to, I'm going to go back to the Robert center. I'm going to set up my booth. Um, I'm going to take a walk through. I'm going to visit all the other vendors, introduce myself. I'm going to drop off some cards. I'm going to get all their cards. You know, I, I, cause 
you know, I got to do that because I'm one of them people. I just need to know everybody like that. You never know. <laughs> you may need something in the future. You know what I mean? Like all the grooming apparel, stuff like that. Like you, I'm going to need that because this is not my last brick and mortar I'm building out. It's not. I know yeah. it's not because oh, at I, the I end of my, I don't think it is either. <laughs> at the end of my time, I was telling my kids this at the end of my time, this company I'm building, I want it to be worth about $10 billion before wow. I die. Wow. And one of these kids is going to have to pay attention and step up. My son, Ben, he's the eldest. He probably could handle like all of the electronic formats. Amir, he could probably handle like the money aspect. He, he's nine and he's been like throwing money ideas at me. I'm just like, wow, how do you know about that? Boo -boo? I call him. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and then um, Nadia, she's Nadia, my 11 year old. She's my CEO girl. She's my hire and fire girl. Oh, she has wow. That. She's That's got that my, thing. Yeah, she does. And oh, I'm just wow. like, I don't know what kind of husband you're going to have, but that's going to be interesting <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know how that works like that. But, you know, it's, it's so great. If there's if there's any uh, if there's any uh, depiction of someone who loves what they do, you're seeing it right now because uh, you just the way you're talking about everything and, you know, about your you know plans and what you're going to do. You love what you do, don't you? I do. It just seems like. It's so effortless for me. It's so effortless. And it's just, it's so fun. Like, and that's why people like, when they see how fun it is and they see how easy, well, it's easy for me because this is what I do. But like, once you get acclimated to it and you start enjoying it and you, being around the right people is essential, is so essential. Mm. Like, like my girl Heather, like she, she wasn't always with me. She started out like in corporate and it's a dog eat dog world out there. People don't <laughs> want to help people. And for me, like if she's grooming and I see her struggling, I'm not going to wait for her to ask me for help. I'm going to step in and help her and just do it so she can move on with life. Right. You know what I mean? Like, right. yeah. I'm like Heather, this is the way you should do it just like this. And I'll just do it and show her, even if I got to show her five times, that's cool with me because it takes me two minutes to show her something that's going to take her 30 minutes, yeah. you know, and to show her the right way to do it so she can make her money faster. We can, you know, get more people in. She'll be happier. I'm happier. We got the, you know, a good aura going on. We're all on the same page. You know, it's not about being greedy uh, with money. It's not because money will come naturally all by itself. When you have good surroundings, good people, you're having fun, you love it, you know, and the kids, our kids are, my kids are always around that because that's what, it's what it is. It, it's, they're just there. So yeah. they know what's going on. And Heather, she has her daughter, you know, it's a family thing and we're going to grow this to be huge. And Heather has other girls that are groomers too. And I'm like, you should tell them to come on over to the new boutique and try something new, you know, get out of the old shacks that they're in and come over here. Let me show my techniques and I mean, that, better that's, them. That's what a, a great mentor does. Um, yeah. And, and Mr. Mr. Producer, I, I, I know I don't have my clock here, um, but uh, okay. Thank you. Um, but a, um, a mentor is so important. That's what you're doing for uh, this person. Did you have one? Did you have someone? Uh, well, you're so independent. I don't, I, I don't didn't. even know if you, <laughs> you didn't, you did it yourself. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have a mentor at all. Like I struggled through all you of it. You figured it out all. by yourself. I had to, through. I mean, there's so many mistakes. I'm just like, I'll do something. I'm like, oh, <laughs> note to self. Don't do that right. again, right. you know, and over the course of years, I mean, you just like you formulate your own structure, your own technique. And I like my technique and all my customers do, too. Yeah, I yeah. all of them do. And, um, you know, I've been uh, since March, I've been doing a build out an official pet boutique. And so far, and usually, you know, I have to build it up on Google, you know, it's a, a new build out and stuff like that with a new business name. So far, I got, I think, 35 star reviews so far. Wow. It, yeah. in just like a couple of weeks, because I, I started it late. I think it's been about a month. It's been up. So I say it's like one. It's crazy. Day. I, say, I love how much pride you take in what you do. I think that's the coolest thing. And I'm it sure is. that you, you, you're showing that to your kids and oh, uh, yeah. you're prepping them. Right. I mean, how important oh, yeah. is it to to be, lead by example for your kids? How important is that? Oh, my God. They watch me. They watch. They're like, so what's your next move, ma? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just like. <laughs> I'm just like, hold on, let me think about this for a second. And whatever I do, it just works. But I think it's because I got a lot of faith. I called God out on his, I called him out. I'm like, it's your show. Like, <laughs> you're using me as your vessel. I mean, you got to show these kids because 
we got to teach our generation something that's worth something. And if I can, if I can be a leader and create four little tiny leaders and they can flip that and see how I mentored them and led them, they're going to lead four more on that four and it's going to continue on. On and on and on, yeah. It's like a pyramid scheme of good stuff. Yeah. And it has to be (laughs) that way because otherwise the kids nowadays are so lost. Yeah. Because people, people work nine to fives and they get lost in chasing that money instead of chasing their dream and letting the money come to them. Yeah. You know, and I was just talking to my son, Ben, about this. And he's, he's like, he's 16. He'll be 17. And I'm like, Ben, you're not going to be an employee. He's like, mom, I'm just like, no, Ben, you're going to open a business. He's like, we have the same idea, but different because, you know, he's 16. So he sees it a little differently. Yeah. Like, Which is kind of cool sometimes, right? Yeah. But see, he goes by his friend's house and he sees their parents and how they make their money, how they live their life. Then he looks at me and I'm just like, I got 20 things going on. You're hustling 24 seven. (laughs) (laughs) But you've done it your whole life. Yeah. And you know, you got, you can't always be in survival mode. You can't always be in survival mode. You have to be in live mode. You have to be able to live. And that's the goal. And I want my kids to be able to live, you know, you see me going in survival mode, but let me show you how to live. So once we get, I'm going to say, give me like five years, five years. Oh, and by the way, I'm hoping for the show to generate hundred K. So if I can get prayers from everybody to say a prayer for me, please. Let's go. Hey, let's, looking- let, let's give it love. She's, she's been giving love to everybody out here for, for, yes. uh, for, for we've done so many shows together and uh, it's always, you know, she wants to tell you what she knows so you can be better. So let's give it back. Let's, let's all yes. send our prayers over to Miss Amina. And uh, yes. that this is very lucrative and uh, it turns out real well because she's so she's so excited. And and uh, I mean, I'm so happy for you. I'd love to see someone passionate about what they do. And finally, I, I get to see your face and, and see. Yeah. Yeah. This she's about what she says. Totally. A hundred percent. Like yeah. every show we've done now, it just registers with me. And it's it's proof just by seeing you how you smile when you're talking about what you're doing yeah. and stuff like that. So cool. I mean, uh, we're at, at the end of our show here, but uh, I always like to leave uh, the end uh, with you. If you want people to think about something or anything, we're already praying for you that you're going to do well. But um, as my grandmother says, you have the floor. I mean, yes, everybody follow your dreams. Don't chase the money. The money will come all by itself. And I hope all of you have a blessed day. Pray for me, for my show. And I'm going to pray for all of you. And when I get out, anybody who's listening, I pray for all good things to come to you for the remaining of the year and all these blessings and wishes and prayers that you've been asking for that they come true because God says that he ain't going to forget about us and he's going to make all things doable. And he'll bless you abundantly more than what you ask for. So I'm asking for hundred K. <laughs> that's my buddy. That's, that's Miss Amina. Guys, we'll be right back. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's it's going to be okay. 